Well, hey everybody. Thanks for uh, tuning in to this video. I, like many Americans last night, watched the Mike Cernovich uh, interview on 60 Minutes. <clears throat> uh, it's a total hit piece. Uh, he knew that going in, and he knew what was going to happen. I think the mainstream media really doesn't get why we don't trust them. And <sighs> you would kind of think, and they're in a lot of trouble, that they would try to be fair and show both sides, not just try to do a hit piece. Okay? That's why we don't watch you anymore. That's why you have no credibility. No one trusts you. No one. Well, I shouldn't say no one. Probably, most of the left probably does, because you pander to them. But most rational people don't trust you at all. And last night was just a perfect example. They had a guy on before Mike Cernovich went on. I, I didn't uh, catch the guy's name, but, he, you know, he was basically admitting to be being a, a a real charlatan, you know. He was, you know, just admitting, well, that he did this fake and that fake and things. And so they were trying to lump Mike into that category, which Mike is not. But that was part of the hit piece. You know, it's the guilt by association thing, which um, they do so well. I'll never understand these people, the mainstream media. I, you know... It really isn't the mainstream media. It's the state-sponsored media. Uh, it's probably about the closest thing that I can think of to be true. Or corporate-sponsored media, which really, what's the difference? They're both the same damn thing. They're both interchangeable. Um, that's what makes independent media, independent journalists so special, is that they're neither of those things. And you can find out the actual truth if you do your homework. So, just thought I'd make a quick video on this. Uh, just uh, wanted to everybody to know I have a website. It's called W. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's called executiveorders.net. And you don't need the WWW part. Everybody knows that part. Executiveorders.net. <clears throat> I made it to kind of look into the abuses of executive orders. Um, I'm an old-fashioned guy. I want Congress to make my laws. Um, I want the war to be declared and not just done by executive action. Um, you know, but that's that's the old days. So if you want to check that out, it's executiveorders.net. Um, on Twitter, you can call catch me at at Michael underscore Ray R A Y. In, or on Gab at the very same name, exactly the same. So I'll just leave you with that, and thanks for watching.